Hello friends, in this video we will see drop down list for helper and MDC3 razor. Now the HTML dot drop down list for helper renders a drop down control. It renders a select tag with options and this helper helps in binding the model's property with a control. Now let's see through the application how we can render a drop down using the HTML dot drop down list for helper. And as this involves model binding, we have a simple register model wherein we have age property. Now often we render a list for the age or we can uh, or we can render a text box to enter the age but in this case we are going to render a list for the age property and we have now we are going to use HTML dot drop down list for now the first parameter it accepts is the lambda expression so age is the first parameter now as we know the drop down list for drop down list the list is mandatory otherwise it will give error let's see what error it gives I can see no overload method of drop down list for text first argument so we need to pass a second argument as well so we have prepared a list here we have iterated over uh, 50 integers using the for loop and we have created a list of age from 1 to 50 and now we are going to render a drop down using HTML or drop down list for helper now you can see the drop down has 1 to 50 values or options let's move to the to the third overload the third overload is the option label wherein you can pass any string option which you want to render as the first value first selected value so in our case I can pass select or I can even pass select age so this is the third overload or this is this was the third overload now we have the fourth overload which is the i enumerable and it accepting the i dictionary html attributes and we have fifth overload which accepts the object of html attributes so in this case we are going to set the style so we say I want font weight to be bold for the drop down list options now you can see the select has become bold now the fourth overload which we skipped is similar to fifth one just that the fourth overload accepts the i dictionary object the fifth one accepts the object html attributes the sixth accepts the i dictionary object html attribute and so these are the overloads we have seen for drop down list for helper and by this way we can render a drop down list for any model property thank you friends